The new i20 is a big success for Hyundai. For instance, the car just received the very important award called Goldenes Lenkrad. It's a good reason for Hyundai to build other versions of this model. The newest one we drive right now. It's called Hyundai i20 Coupe. The exterior design of the new i20 Coupe has come in for particular praise and has been awarded the Red Dot Award. Key features include the modern front hexagonal grille and headlights with integrated LED daytime running lights. At the side, the wheel arches feature 16 or 17 inch alloy rims. The dynamic appearance of the car is supported by the noticeably lowered roofline. At the back, the LED tail lights dominate, sweeping through the shoulders of the rear and blending into the sides. The engine of our i20 Coupe is a 1.4-litre four-cylinder petrol engine that delivers 100 brake horsepower and only 135 newton meters of torque. But the car is quite light, it only weights a little bit above a top. Soon, the i20 Coupe will also be available with a 1-litre three-cylinder turbo engine, available in two power outputs of 100 or 120 brake horsepower. Hyundai promises very good fuel economy, combined with improved performance for both versions. If you're looking for more torque and a particularly economical engine, the Hyundai Coupe can also come as a diesel. The seats of the i20 are comfortable, but a little too soft for a more sporty Coupe. The interior is convincing, as you would expect from the i20's five-door sibling. The interior of the new i20 is modern and clean. Everything is where you expect it and it's all well made. Very important for me, I'm a tall person but I fit perfectly into the car. So keep that in mind, even when you're tall, the small i20 coupe works perfectly. Hyundai emphasized the modern presentation of their fleet of vehicles and so even the i20 coupe has a variety of modern assistance and safety systems such as brake assist, cruise control and hill start assist on board. Hyundai have also convinced with the i20's boot, with a load space that goes from 336 to a maximum of 1,001 litres, the coupe does not need to fear comparison with its German rivals. Having the 100 brake horsepower petrol engine on board combined with a manual gearbox, yes our i20 coupe is not a race car, but you can drive it quite sporty and on our German motorways we drove it 180 km per hour without big noise in the interior. And also the fuel consumption is fine. It took only about 6 liters per 100 km while we do our test drives. The i20 Coupe scores well in its class, with modern features of visual appeal, interior space and good economy. The base price of the new i20 Coupe is 16,450 euro, but the car comes well equipped and with a 1.4-litre four-cylinder petrol engine that delivers 100 brake horsepower. Very important, you will have a warranty of five years without a limit in mileage. So if you're looking for a sporty, stylish, small coupe, you may have a look at the i20.